I got it guys, the new M18 Fuel Milwaukee Chainsaw. I'm gonna unbox this and uh, show you what comes with it. This is just the tool only. I uh, chose to buy this because I actually have a lot of other M18 tools. Um, like the speaker, the drill, heat gun, and the impact driver. So it just made sense. I needed one to cut down some small trees, but it just made sense to buy one because I already have the battery system. And of course, when you buy a chainsaw, don't forget your, your saw chain and your bar and chain oil. So we got our owner's manual and the tool. So when it says tool only, it literally means tool only. I did not know that it would come with a chain. I had bought one, but that is nice as well. Now, since this actually comes with a blade, I'm gonna save the one that I bought for later. Now, we definitely want to make sure we have plenty of bar and chain oil inside the unit before we start anything on this. So I have mine all set up here. Put some oil in there. And it doesn't take much, but you wanna make sure that thing is full. Now, by no means am I an expert when it comes to chainsaws, but I just wanted to show you guys my new toy that I'm picking up. This is the Milwaukee Fuel 18 volt uh, chainsaw that I picked up here. Um, but I'm just using this to cut down a few small trees. Nothing big, if you have something big to cut down, of course, call a professional and have it done. Even if you don't feel safe cutting down a small tree, definitely call a professional. Don't take this as a how-to video by any means. One thing I did want to say though, is these battery power tools are really taking over the industry by storm. Many of them, most of them now are actually as powerful or more powerful than the uh, gas power versions. Um, you don't notice any um, losses and the capabilities there, um, especially when it comes to your blowers, chainsaws, weed eaters. Um, I mean, the list goes on. They make everything battery powered now, but if you're, going to pick some a new machine up i definitely recommend a battery powered tool now here's one tree that my wife actually suggested that i cut down uh she wants more sun back here because she's really into plants and uh it's very shady in our backyard and she wants to be able to grow her plants and i also want to be able to grow some grass uh back here better than it currently is growing of course i have a lot of these weeds dying from the tenacity I put down, which I mentioned in the last video. Um, and that, yes, that is weeds, it's not the grass. Obviously you can see some of the, the grass I planted, it's actually doing okay. It's not white. So these other 
Uh, I'm not sure what this is. If you know what uh, weeds these are, please by all means let me know in the in the comments section below. But moving on, this is another one of the trees that we are going to take down. It's the main culprit for all this shade. This one here, this skinny one here, and I'm probably going to have someone take this one down because I don't, uh, obviously I'm not a professional and I don't want this to hit my house as it's coming down. But just this skinny one, this smaller one here, it's not too tall. Uh, maybe that one there as well. And that one. These are, this is one of my wife's plants. She's really into these, I think this is called a Monstera. And this is one of her snake plants. I get that to focus. Snake plant. Another Monstera. And a snake plant. And then she just has all kinds of other plants. And she likes them obviously to have good sun coverage when she puts them out here in the backyard. Now, one thing I've noticed about the Milwaukee batteries is they have been taking like 20 minutes to charge, which is super quick. Um, I'm not sure what the other brands do, but I'm very pleased with the, how fast the batteries charge and they last quite a while. The box says 150 cuts per uh, battery charge, which obviously depends on which battery you're using but I'm definitely happy with how fast they charge and how long they last. Um, and again, this is just a vlog of me cutting some small trees in my backyard. By no means is this any type of how-to video. Um, again, I'm not a professional tree cutter. I'm just a homeowner DIYer. Uh, picked up the chainsaw to cut some small trees in my yard. So don't take this as in any kind of way as a how-to video. Um, and if you see any mistakes that I've made, by all means, point them out in the comment section below so we can learn and grow together. I'm probably gonna make this a uh, multiple part series where I'm taking down these other few trees just because it's taken me 
uh, so long in multiple days. Um, if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments uh, section below and we'll make this into a whole vlog where I'm taking down these trees here on my lawn to let some more sunlight in so my wife can uh, have her plants out here getting some sunlight and I can grow some more grass in this back area over here. If you're gonna choose a battery powered piece of equipment, uh, start thinking about the product line that they have. There's pros and cons to every uh, different brand. I already had Milwaukee tools, so it made sense for me to get a Milwaukee one uh, chainsaw um, because I have multiple batteries already. So you're gonna be making an investment in those batteries. With that, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.